Merry Christmas. You guys, I'm so excited to make this video today because I wanted to make this a testimony video and about the House of Treasures ministry in Nepal, which is Kelly's ministry that I asked you guys to help give towards. And um, I'm super excited to just share with you what the Lord did. And I also am going to read some scriptures to you about giving and what God says about it. And so I want to encourage you to, um, to give this season and to make giving actually part of your life, your lifestyle, a lifestyle of giving. Okay. So, um, when I made that video, actually, let me back up. So when Kelly first sent me the request, it was Giving Tuesday and she sent a video and it was showing what their needs are. And I posted that video on my page as well. You can go look at it. And so I remember watching the video and as soon as I was done watching the video, I said, Lord, I want to help her. I want to help Kelly's ministry. And within the same week, literally just two or three days later, I get a card in the mail and it has the biggest donation my ministry has ever seen to date. Okay. And it came from a person that gives regularly. And so this person, it was literally double what they typically would give in a year and they give monthly. Okay. So it was miraculous, honestly. And then here's what is so interesting about God is that he said in his word, Luke 6, 38, give and it will be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will it be poured into your lap? For with the same measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Now, I read that to you because I want to tell you what happened right after, okay? So I was super excited because as soon as I got that card in the mail, I was like, I heard the Lord say, now you can give to Kelly. And so as soon as I sent Kelly a sizable, um, a notable donation. So thank you guys so much for your donations. You have no idea what this is going to do for her ministry. And I can't wait to hear the updates from her after they, you know, get their goals met and that kind of a thing. But let me tell you what the Lord did. No sooner than I sent her that, within the next week, I get a, um, I received literally more than double what I sent to her, to me at personally, as a personal gift someone gave to me. <laughs> more than doubled, you guys. It was almost like God was paying me back for being generous to her ministry through your help. And it was just like, I don't even know how to explain it, but I want to read to you what the Bible says, because this is what the Holy Spirit put upon my heart when I was asking him, like, how did this all happen, you know, the way that it did? And this is what he said to me. First Corinthians 9, 14. It says, in the same way, the Lord has commanded that those who preach the gospel should receive their living from the gospel. And then also he gave me Acts 20, 35, which summarizes that it is more blessed to give than it is to receive. And what he reminded me was this, and I said this in my week, last week's video, I think, is that when we give towards the things that God wants us to give towards, that is what he means when he says, seek first the kingdom of God is the things that matter to him, to give towards the things that matter to him. And the Bible tells us also, um, I'm not really remembering the scripture right this moment, but it was, it's the scripture that talks about how we are to give generously, especially to those in the household of faith, okay? And there is a reward that comes with it. And that's not the reason that you give, but I'm here to tell you today a double testimony <laughs> because God, God gave more than he doubled what we were, we gave to Kelly's ministry. And what he also told me was, remember when I made that video that said, 
things are going to happen so fast your head will swim. Part of that that Amos was talking about, if you read through the scriptures before and after that, what he said was the reaper will overtake. So it's like typically you have seed, time, and then harvest, right? You plant a seed, it takes time for it to cultivate, and then you go and make the harvest. You, you reap what you've sown. But in that passage, during that, those passages of what Amos was saying was that the reaper will overtake, meaning you'll receive the blessing of the abundance of what's reaped quicker, even just as soon as. And that was what I was hearing in my spirit. Remember when I was saying, open up the heavens? Like this is the message that God has been saying to me. Now it makes perfect sense. <laughs> I didn't realize what he was trying to communicate to me until I seeing it right now. So I just wanted to share this quick little testimony with you uh, since I'm not going to be making a, a video on Christmas Day. Um, but I will post this one probably on Christmas Day, <laughs> but I'm making it ahead of time. Anyways, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for your kindness, your generosity towards her. I can't wait to hear if they were able to buy the vehicles they needed to, you know, I mean, get to the next level in their ministry and really not have to worry about having those continual car problems. So thank you so much for your generosity. And I am so excited to see what God is going to do next. If you still want to give, you can still give from now until the end of this year through the links that I put down below and I will send everything to her. And it is just amazing that God is allowing this opportunity for us to give her a tithe off of what is given to this ministry. So thank you for doing that. And I am so excited to see what the next steps are for not only her ministry, but also take note in your own lives because when you give there is a reward attached to it and it isn't it's the way that God operates it's not because we are trying to make something happen that is how he has set things up and so I hope that you will be encouraged this season to go and and give give towards the things that God loves give towards the things that are in his heart and watch what will happen not only will you ward ward out greed from your heart but you'll get to see the kingdom of god in full swing action and i i could tell you it is very exciting and powerful to see god move through his principles when you put them into action so Merry Christmas, you guys. Thank you so much for all that you do and have done to help this ministry and to help me to help other ministries. So I'm so grateful and so thankful. And I just wanted to um, give those an opportunity who are watching this video. Maybe you don't know Jesus. This is the day of your salvation. The Bible says today is the day of your salvation. And if you have not made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, the Bible doesn't actually technically say to invite Jesus into your heart. But if he's not in the place of your heartstrings leading you, being the Lord of your life, your life will run astray. So invite him into your heart right now. Make him the Lord of your life. Turn from your wicked ways and he will forgive you. He is quick to forgive a broken and contrite spirit. That means you're broken before him like, God, I'm so sorry for the way I've been living my life. You get real and honest before him, he will forgive you. And if you chose that today, please let me know because I want to pray for you. I want to hear more testimonies that of what God is doing in your life. So send me your testimonies if this is you or if you have other testimonies, let me know. I want to celebrate with you. The Bible says that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. That's why it's important to keep telling people, look what God did. Look what God did now. And you should always have these fresh revelation stories of like, look what God is doing now. Not like, well, this is what God did in 1972. Well, God's moving right now, honey. So I hope that you will follow him 
and that you will have your own God stories and testimonies today. Today. So come and follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And have a very Merry Christmas once again. And I'll see you on my next video.